What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel guys obviously another very red day in the stock market many portfolios are down and down significantly including my own and this is something that I want you to know that you guys are not alone with it is not just your portfolio that is in the red and it is not just the stocks that you pick that are down if you are a long-term investor and you are investing in high growth companies for the long term it is pretty much unavoidable right now to not see some red in your portfolio and I just want you to know that you guys are not the only ones experiencing this so hopefully that'll shed some light on this situation and give you guys some confidence because understand us as long-term investors have to use this opportunity as a buying opportunity to find stocks that are undervalued oversold aren't given the attention that they deserve and will ultimately be successful in the future if you can find those companies on a discount that is going to be the time to strike and hold those companies for the long term because like i always say whether it's one day or one year the stock market will recover cover and a lot of you are going to wish that you had bought on those dips. So remember that and think about that now. Don't think about it months from now wishing that you acted then. With that said though guys, I have two companies in the biotech space that although are very risky, also have a very high chance of success in the future. These are companies that are given big price predictions from analysts and some recent news and upcoming catalyst could lead these stocks to experience some gains in the near future. And obviously that is largely gonna depend on what the overall market does. With that said though guys, before I get into these two stocks, if you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I post videos every single day for you guys, keeping you guys updated with the hottest growth stocks in the market. So make sure and hit the subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications you guys can get updated every time i post a video 11,000 of you have those notifications turned on and guys you know exactly how valuable that is and i really appreciate it with that said let's get right into this video and the first company we're going to talk about is ticker symbol clbs and i'm going to tell you right now this company has some pretty insane 12 month price targets from analysts that were just updated less than a week ago so make sure and watch all the way to the end of the video you guys are going to want to hear what these analysts have to say anyways though so collaterius biosciences is a clinical stage bio biopharmaceutical company dedicated to the development of cellular therapies designed to reverse disease. They're developing first-in-class cell therapy products based on their finely tuned mechanisms for self-repair that exist in the human body. They also have many different products here that are on their way to get approval and ultimately get commercialized. They have products in phase 2 and phase 2b trials that are eligible for early conditional approval in Japan for different treatments and they also have products in phase 3 trials which are already in talks with the FDA and we can more than likely expect a submission for approval in the relatively near future which of course is going to be a big catalyst for the company. Now so what you guys want to hear even in this crazy market even with all the red in the market and CLBS being down almost 40% since its highs, analysts have upgraded this stock to a buy and have put some impressive price targets on this company. So this says CLBS could be a solid addition to your portfolio given its recent upgrade to Zach's rank number two a buy. This upgrade is essentially a reflection of an upward trend in earnings estimates, which of course is one of the most powerful forces impacting stock prices. For Collaterius Biosciences rising earning estimates and the consequent rating upgrade fundamentally means an improvement in the company's underlying business. An investor's appreciation of this improving business trend should push this stock higher. Now for some of the earnings estimate revisions for the fiscal year ending December 2021, this company is expected to earn 44 cents per share, which is a change of 17% from the year ago reported number. Analysts have been steadily rising their estimates for this company over the past three months. Zach's estimate for the company has increased 14.2%. In this upgrade for this company to a Zach's rank number two, puts it in the top 20% of Zach's covered stocks in terms of estimate revisions, implying that the stock might move higher in the near term. So this is very positive to see, even in these rough times in the crazy market that we are in, analysts are focusing on this company, raising its estimates and giving them higher price targets. And we're gonna see what price targets analysts are putting on this company in just a second but first they also have a potential positive catalyst coming up and that is that this company will present at the global life science virtual conference they're going to present a company overview and hold a virtual investor meeting now it is a tough 
market even for the best catalyst, but nevertheless, depending on what they say in this meeting, it could lead to an uptrend in the stock price, especially if the broader market trends upwards into next week. Obviously, we're just gonna have to see what happens, and if the broader market continues to trend downwards, this catalyst, positive or negative, will probably have no effect in the stock could continue to trend downwards just with the broader market. But when you're a long-term investor, you're not thinking about one week, two weeks, one month down the road. You are thinking about a year or longer. And let's see what analysts have to say for a 12-month price target on this company. So as you can see, a pretty high price target for this company. One analyst offer a 12-month price target for Collaterius Biosciences in the last three months, and the average price target, the only price target, was $10 a share. This is a 500% increase from where the stock sits today at $1.67. And now if we scroll down, we can see some more price targets that were a few months ago, almost a year. Nevertheless, though, it still represent an increase from where the price sits today. So 10 months ago, we can see a buy rating from this analyst at $6 a share. Also 10 months ago, a buy rating at seven dollars a share and now just seven days ago so one week ago and missed this market correction here we have an analyst giving this stock a buy rating at ten dollars a share like i said that would be a 500 percent a 498 percent increase from where the stock price sits today now like i said personally i do not think this is possible with the broader market continuing to trend downwards i think if we can start to see a shift and when we start to see that market finally trending upwards again, along with the good news being released about this company, such as FDA approvals and ultimately products getting launched, then I do think we could possibly get close to some of these analyst estimates. I will say though, with this stock down at 38% since its highs in mid-February, it is opening a buying opportunity for this company if you do believe in them for the long term and you believe they can hit those analyst price targets. But so if you guys have been checking out this company, these prices are getting pretty ridiculous a lot of companies are selling off so much and it is leaving an opportunity to buy in so guys do me a favor let me know down in the comments below are you invested in this company and do you think it is a buy at this price point i will tell you i am holding this company and as of right now i do plan on holding them for the long term moving on though one of the favorite stocks on the channel zometica ticker symbol zom we are down another 10% on the day. And that is actually after a sharp V here at about 1130. This stock was down about 25% at its lowest points today. So that is a pretty crazy and obviously is opening up a chance to get some pretty good prices for this company. One thing though, I am actually fairly impressed with how this company is holding up considering the broader market. I mean, just in January, just January 7th, only a couple months ago, this stock was at 40 cents a share and that is actually exactly where we picked it up at if you've been following this channel once again make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of these plays but anyways though then we jumped up to that rate under a dollar mark or rate at a dollar and then had another jump up to almost three dollars and has been trending downwards just a little bit ever since nevertheless though even with these steep declines over the past two weeks it is still holding at $1.69. That is over 100% higher to where it even was last month. So like I said, even though it's dropped a good bit, I'm still impressed with it holding these numbers and not dropping back to a dollar or even less. That shows people do have some confidence in this company and are excited for this true form of launch on March 30th. And that leads us into this right here. So Medica is a winner with its pet lab product and cash balance. So we're going to go over some things with this company, where the company sits, and where we can see the company going. Then we're going to end it with some concerns, and then you're going to let me know in the comments section if you think this company is worth investing in. So Zometica looks like it will be a winner once its veterinarian office lab testing product launches on March 30th. Zom stock is already up 850% so far this year. In fact, it peaked at $2.70 in February in anticipation of this product launch. Now as a company, they have also been very smart about taking advantage of these opportunities in its price spikes. So on February 8th, it raised another $185.4 million. On February 26th, their balance sheet had almost $300 million in cash based on an 8K filing. Now if you compare this to its balance sheet just one year ago, look at how impressive these numbers are. In 2019 at this time, they had about $510,000 in cash. Even as 
recently as September 30th, they had 52 million in cash. Now they're sitting at almost 300 million of cash on their balance sheet and are in a very good position to keep developing products and pushing sales. Even more impressive, the company said that just $90 million would be sufficient enough to fund operations through at least 2023. Obviously, they have over three times that amount of cash on their balance sheet. By 2023, it looks like at that point, Zometica thinks that they will be free cash flow positive. Of course, this company still has no revenue though, which is very concerning, and everything is pretty much dependent on this true form of launch. People are very excited about this launch though, not only investors but veterinarians as well, and they think this product could be very popular in use. So this is a diagnostic tool to allow pet owners to get point of care treatment on their dogs and cats for things like adrenal disease. People think this is going to be very popular for owners and will generate large amounts of goodwill and of course most importantly revenue streams for the veterinarian practices. If those practices like the product they're going to continue to use it which will also increase revenue for Zometica. They also have a distribution deal with Miller Veterinarian Supply and they're going to represent Zometica from Texas to Maine. This will allow Zometica to get Truforma out to a large number of practices fairly quickly. Now there is some risks to be concerned of and you guys have to consider this before even thinking about investing into the company. So the Seeking Alpha article says the big problem is there is no data yet whether the Truforma instrument will provide statistically significant results that actually work. If they do I think this product is going to be wildly successful. On the other hand if they don't then I do think we're going to see a big pullback in Zometica stock price. Now lastly going over some interesting numbers here. Zometica refers to an article in its most recent 10k filing saying that the animal diagnostics market is projected to reach 2.8 billion dollars by 2024 from 1.7 billion in 2019. They also refer to an IHS market reference that the global veterinarian immunodiagnostic market will be 2.1 billion dollars by 2022. If we assume that the US is about half of the market or 1.05 billion by 2022 and we assume that true forma can capture around 10 to 15 percent of that market that would be about 100 to 150 million dollars annually and eventually obviously this would expand overseas. Therefore at 10x sales, Zometica is worth $1.57 billion, add the cash balance of $277 million, and its total value is $1.85 billion. On the high side here with a 10% of the global market share and a 15x sales multiple, the value would be $3.15 billion. That would take it to about $3.61 per share, which is obviously quite an increase from where the stock sits today at about $1.70. So Zomstock does have the potential to be worth anywhere from $1.96 to $3.61 depending on its sales spike. So those are some rough numbers and hopefully gives you an idea of the potential of Zometica depending on what they can do when they launch the product. Let me know guys down in the comments below first what price did you guys get into Zometica? Are you still holding and do you think it is still a buy at this price for current or new investors? Let me know down below. I really want to hear your guys' opinion. With that said though, that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.